Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are making some pumpkin gummies. So um, I actually was inspired to make these by seeing the mold that I actually use them in because they make perfect spheres, which I think is so cool. And um, it's hard to make that shape at home. They have them like, gummies are always like that, like at the grocery store, but it's hard to find them at home. So I thought that this would be such a place. So let's get started. Okay, so first you wanna get some apple cider, and this is non-alcoholic apple cider, and pour it into a microwave safe bowl. Sprinkle some unflavored powdered gelatin on top and whisk it to combine. And I'll have all the ingredients and quantities listed down below, so don't worry about that, I got you. <laughs> then microwave the mixture for 30 second intervals or until the gelatin has fully melted. Then add half a can of condensed milk and mix well. Then you want to add some pumpkin fizz and vanilla extract and mix until it's fully combined. So you're probably wondering like what in the world is pumpkin fizz. So it was part of my Harry Potter themed recipes and pumpkin fizz is like a fizzy pumpkin drink. It's so good. I love it. And I had so much left over and I'm like this would actually be a perfect base for candy because it is slightly pumpkin-y but it's very well balanced. There's apricot juice in it. There is I believe ginger ale. There is so many. Like, it's just it's so good. So that is like the base of the gummies. So um, I'll have that recipe linked in the cards for you um, if you want to go check it out. And then once everything is added, add a couple drops of orange food coloring just to kind of make it a little bit more vibrant orange. Then pour the gummies into a sphere mold. So I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below. They are like smaller, kind of like this size. So you can either use these as uh, little like jellies for a drink, kind of like bubble tea, but not. I was like, should I make bubble tea? But they're a little bit too big to be like tapioca size, um, but basically what you do is you fill the tray all the way full with the jelly mixture and then carefully, I was like terrified but this actually does work, um, carefully put the second one on top, second layer, and then press down and it will fill all the spheres. This quantity will give you like one and three quarters worth of trays, if you know what I mean. Um, so if you'd like to make more, just double the recipe and then you'll be fine. But yeah, then just pop it into the fridge like that for about 45 minutes or until the jelly has fully set. And then just carefully lift the top layer off and you will have your adorable little spherical pumpkin candy things. So I also thought that it would be cute to roll them in super fine sugar. Super fine sugar is um, smaller little granules than regular sugar. And so you can just find it at the grocery store. It's like in the same section that the sugar is. I think they look really cute, but I also realized while well, filming, which is really frustrating, um, that the moisture in the gummies softens or melts the sugar quite quickly. So if you want to have the sugar, because it tastes good with the sugar coating, um, when you're serving it, just have the gummies and then have a little bowl of sugar and people can like dip it in and then put it in their mouth. Uh, but if you're using these as a gift or something like that, you can just serve them on their own without the sugar and they are just as good, I promise. So it's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, you can just stack them like I did because I think it looks so cute. <laughs> and you are done. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. If you haven't yet, make sure to stay tuned tomorrow because um, I'm uploading a video every single day this week and every week in October and they're all Halloween themed recipes. This week is like cutesy Halloween-y kind of recipes. So if you missed out, um, make sure to check on my channel because there are probably at this point coming, there's going to be around 13 recipes already that are brand new for this month. So uh, definitely take a look and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the following week and a half of recipes. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow for an old recipe.